This is iQ 9Z S smartphone and in this video I'll show you some amazing tips and tricks and hidden features of this smartphone. So if you have bought this phone or even if you are planning to purchase this phone then this video can be really helpful for you. So watch till the end and enjoy this video. By default in the smartphone the back button is on the left side but if you want to change the position of this to the right side you can easily do this and you can also change it from 3 button navigation to gesture navigation. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on system. There you will see the on the bottom, click on this and then click on system navigation. Here if you want to change the position of this back button to the right you can click on this one as you can see it will change the position but if you want to change it to gesture navigation then simply select the gesture navigation. Now you can go back like this from either side if you want to open your recent app you can swipe from the Whenever you use your phone with a single hand then it feels really uneasy to reach at the top and open this notification center but there is a gesture by which you can easily open this simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on home settings scroll down there you will see the option of swipe downward on home screen click on this and then select notification center now whenever you are on home screen simply swipe down on the empty area then it will open your notification center and your control panel you can also enable the shake to turn on your flashlight feature in your smartphone by default this feature is disabled to enable this simply open your settings and then click on shortcut and accessibility there you will see the option of smart motion click on this and then enable this shake to turn on the flashlight now whenever your phone is locked, simply open your locked screen and then shake your phone like this then it will turn on your flashlight. Now if you want to turn it off, simply press your power button then it will turn it off. This phone comes with smart sidebar, by default this feature is enabled but let me show you how you can use this. You will see a transparent bar on the right side of the screen. Simply swipe to the left from the sidebar then it will open your smart sidebar. Here if you want to edit this then click on this little arrow and then click on edit. You can add your favorite apps here and if you want to remove any application from this you can also do this. After this click on done. Now whenever you will open any application from this it will open it in floating window. You can also resize it from the corner and also drag and drop it anywhere. So you can keep on using your smartphone normally and it will remain as floating window on your screen. By default this phone doesn't show your battery percentage in your status bar. To show this simply open your settings and then click on battery. There you will see the option of battery style and percentage. You can also change the battery style to landscape or circle. And now if you want to show the battery percentage, you can select display outside battery or inside battery. So that's how you can show your battery percentage in your status bar. You can also remove any object with the help of AI from any image. Simply open the photo you want to edit and then click on this edit button. Swipe to the left and there you will see the option of AI erase. Click on this and then select the object you want to remove and then it will take few seconds after that it will automatically remove that object from your image so with the help of that you can remove any unnecessary object from your image you can also clone any application or make dual of any application so with the help of that you can log in with two different account in the same application simply open your settings and then click on apps there you will see the option of app clone click on this will show all the application which are clonable in your smartphone select the app you want to clone it will take few seconds after that it will make clone of that application as you can see in my app drawer I have two snapchats now and I can log in with two different account in the same application if you want to monitor your real-time internet speed or show your real-time internet speed in your status bar then simply open your settings scroll down and then click on display and brightness Again scroll down there you will see the option of status bar. Click on this and then enable show real time network speed. Then it will start showing your internet speed in your status bar. You can use two applications at the same time in a single screen with the help of a simple gesture. Simply open the first application and then swipe up by using your three fingers like this and then select the second application. As you can see you will be able to use two applications at the same time in a single screen. You can also read deleted messages from WhatsApp, Instagram, etc. and you don't have to download any third party app. Simply follow these steps, open your settings and then click on notifications. There you will see the option of notification history. Click on this and then enable this. Now someone will message you, it will save all those messages here and you will be able to read them even after they will delete it. There are three ways by which you can use any application as floating window. The first one is to open any application, put it in recent and then click on this apps icon. There you will see the option of small window, click on this. With the help of that you will be able to use your application as floating window. 
The second one is from app drawer. Select the application you want to use as floating window and then drag and drop to the top here. You will see the option of open small window. Drag and drop it there and then it will open your application in floating window. The third one is to open any application from your smart sidebar. If you will open any application from this, it will also open it in floating window. If your phone is logged, anyone can access your notification center or this control center and change any of these settings. But if you want to disable this, then follow these steps. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on lock screen and wallpaper. There you will see the option of lock screen settings. Click on this and then disable this open control center from the lock screen. Now whenever your phone is locked, no one can access your control center and change any of those settings. You can also enable double tap to lock and double tap to unlock your phone's feature. Simply open your settings and then click on shortcut and accessibility. Click on smart motion and then click on smart screen on or off. Firstly enable double tap to wake and then enable double tap to turn off. Now whenever you are on home screen, simply double tap on the empty area, it will lock your smartphone. And if you will double tap on the locked smartphone, it will wake your screen up. If you will long press your power button, then it will launch your voice assistant application instead of opening your power menu. If you want to disable this and then set here your power menu, simply open your settings, open shortcut and accessibility and there you will see the option of press and hold power button. Click on this. By default, it is selected to launch Google Assistant. You have to select enable the power and emergency menu. Now, whenever you will long press your power button, it will launch your power menu instead of opening your voice assistant. With the help of next feature, you will get the clearest voice on your voice calls or video calls. Simply open your settings and then click on shortcut and accessibility. Scroll down there, you will see the option of voice isolation. Click on this. Firstly, click on phone and then select always on. You can also select it for meet select the meet and then select always on now it will remove all the background noise and give you the clearest voice whenever you are on video call or even your phone call if you are doing any kind of heavy task in your smartphone like gaming or video editing and if you want to cool down your smartphone immediately then open this eye manager application click on utility tools and there you will see the option of phone cooling click on this it will check the temperature of your phone then click on this cool down feature it will automatically cool down your smartphone so with the help of that you will be able to cool down your smartphone very easily if you use your phone at night a lot then you must enable these two features simply open your settings click on display and brightness firstly enable this dark theme then it will turn all the whites into blacks in your screen then this will decrease the pressure on your eye the second one there you will see the option of eye protection enable this also it will warm the color of your screen little bit this will also decrease the pressure on your eyes. So with the help of these two features, you can keep your eyes safe if you use your phone at night a lot. You can secretly record any conversation without unlocking your smartphone. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on shortcut and accessibility. There you will see the option of quick action. Click on this. By default, it is selected to turn on or off your flashlight. You have to select record audio. Now, whenever your phone is locked, you can simply long press your volume down button then it will automatically start recording the conversation as you can see and you don't have to unlock your smartphone for that so with the help of that you can secretly record any conversation by just long pressing your volume down button if you want to lock any application then simply open your control center and then click on this colorful icon there you will see the option of app lock click on this now firstly you have to set a six digit password you can change it to pattern four digit pin etc here select pin, draw your pattern, then confirm your pattern, answer to security question and then click on next. If you want to add your email address, you can also do this, otherwise click on this back icon. There you will see the option of app encryption, click on this and then select the application you want to lock. For example, I want to lock my Facebook. Now whenever you will open your Facebook application, it will ask for that privacy password. So that's how you can lock any application in this smartphone. You can also hide any application in this smartphone. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on security. Scroll down and then click on privacy app encryption. So firstly, you have to set your privacy password, but we have already done this. Then click on app hiding. Firstly, enable view hidden apps. Now select the application you want to hide. For example, I want to hide my files. Click on confirm. Now you will see there is no files in my app drawer. Now if you want to access your hidden apps, then simply swipe up by using two fingers like this. Draw your privacy password, 
So that's how you can hide and access your hidden apps in this smartphone. Open your camera application, click on settings and then click on more settings. Then enable this quick action for camera. Now whenever your phone is locked, you can simply double press your volume down button then it will launch your camera application. There are multiple ways by which you can click a screenshot in the smartphone. You can also click a long screenshot and partial screenshot in the smartphone. The first way is to press your volume down button and volume button at the same time. You can also click a screenshot by swiping down by using your three fingers like this. Simply swipe down by using three fingers like this then it will click a screenshot. Now if you want to click a long screenshot, click a normal screenshot and there you will see the option of long screenshot. Scroll down to adjust the length and then click on save. Now if you want to click a screenshot of a specific area, open your control center and then click on S capture. Click on rectangular screenshot, select the area and then click on save. So that's how you can click a screenshot in the smartphone. If you're using your phone at night and you want to go beyond the minimum brightness in the smartphone, then open your settings, click on shortcut and accessibility, scroll down to the bottom and then click on accessibility. There you will see the option of extra dim. Enable this then it will dim the screen beyond your phone's minimum brightness.